On this channel, we like to cover cleaner, greener, safer and smarter vehicles. And normally that means talking about the latest new car, truck, sometimes motorbikes and bicycles. Which brings us here, the Vala Eagle One electric scooter. We haven't covered kind of last mile stand up electric scooters before, but they play an important part in our cities of the future in a post COVID world. Now, obviously, if you need to get from the train station to your office, there are a number of options available to you. You could take one of those fold up Brampton bicycles. You could borrow a bicycle from one of the many bicycle share services that exist in major cities around the world. Or you could do the same thing with a lime scooter or something else. But finding the time to go and find the scooter, check that it's fully charged, make sure that it authenticates and you can actually get on and ride it. Well, it's a bit of a faff, which is why personal electric scooter ownership is really taking off. Vala have sent us this Eagle One electric scooter to unbox and to try out. This is not sponsored by Vala in any way, shape or form. And what I say here is completely my own words. I'm not being paid to say anything about this scooter. Vala have sent me a review unit, which I will get to keep at the end of the review, but that is where it ends. And so today I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to try it out in the coming weeks and hopefully we'll give you a good idea of whether an electric scooter like this might fit your lifestyle. Let's get on with it. I've got to say, I'm impressed at how well this is packaged. It arrived the other day. Uh, from a regular delivery company. The guy who was carrying it to my door in the usual Pacific Northwest winter that we're having just put it on his shoulder and carried it to the door. I don't think I could do that because this is 77 pounds or 35 kilograms if you prefer and that's a lot heavier than a lot of other electric scooters on the market but there's a really good reason for this. The Vala Eagle One, if you'll forgive me, is a bit of a beefcake. Okay, let's talk specs. The Vala Eagle One has a 946 watt hour lithium battery pack. That battery pack is a nominal 52 volts and it's got two 1000 watt hub electric motors. That's right, the Eagle One is a two wheel drive electric scooter, 1000 watts or one kilowatt at the front and 1000 watts or one kilowatt at the back. When it's in its most powerful mode, it claims a top speed of 40 miles per hour. It also claims a range in its most efficient street legal mode of around 40 miles per charge. Looking inside the box, everything looks really well packaged. What have we got here? This is, I think, the charging unit. Now, one of the cool things about this is that it has a locking connector, which means that when the scooter is plugged in and charging, it's not going to get pulled out. However, this could present a tripping hazard, so I'd make sure that you charge it up against the wall you don't leave it in the hallway or anything and this kind of connector is actually preferred by a lot of scooter riders so i'm told it's the same type of arrangement as the connector that i'm using on the lav microphone for our wireless radio packs this is my radio pack right here and it has like this little screw connector to make sure that the plug doesn't come flying out when i am moving around on camera Got a little packet here of, what's this? Oh, I don't even know what these are. Let's have a look. Like end caps, maybe? Uh, yeah, these are end caps protectors, presumably that go on the wheels to protect the, the bolts on the end of each wheel or the nuts on the end of each wheel on the axle. Then we've got a US power connector, which is useful because we're in the United States. And then we've got the whole of the upright assembly here, which looks like it's fully connected. So what I'm going to try and do, I think, 
is lay this down and maybe pull it out. All right, so I've got it on its side. And I'm one of these people, I don't like cutting boxes, cardboard boxes that things come in. That's generally because if I need to send it somewhere or something goes wrong or anything like that, I like having the box in one piece. And I've got a whole load of boxes upstairs for all of the camera gear, all of the home networking gear and everything. I want to try and keep this box in one piece, at least initially. So let's see if we can pull it out. Okay. This is really well packaged. It's just standard polystyrene. And then on the other end, you've got the other block to hold the wheels. Unlike a lot of scooters, this thing has got chunky, chunky tires. It's 10 inch wheels and also it has full suspension. Let's get the box off the table and then we'll go about actually putting it together. They did include these rather nice knee and elbow pads. They don't look particularly high quality and a, an instruction manual, uh, which is kind of rare in today's modern world. Dear customer, thank you for choosing Vala e-Scooter Eagle One. We sincerely hope that you will enjoy scooting. I do too. So we write this letter to make sure you are well prepared to ride. Please spend some time reading this. The most important thing is to ride your scooter safely. You will work out how to ride your electric scooter quickly, however. Remember to practice riding in a safe place with limited obstacles. Here are some key points to keep in mind when riding. Wear flat shoes. Please do not wear flip-flops or sandals while riding. And it keeps going on. Tells you not to use your phone. Don't push or pull the steering. And then you've got a nice diagram here on the second page or third page telling you how to use it. The battery sticker also came off. So I can tell you that it's 52 volts and 18.2 amps. The other thing that you get in the box is some kick plates some kind of for you to stand on and uh, allows you to customize your scooter i've seen several people talking about this you can have this one is kind of street art graffiti inspired uh this one looks like a uh, like a like a almost like a vietnam inspired one which kind of is a bit weird and then you've got the stars and stripes I don't know if I'm, I'm going to use any of those. I might use the original one. I might use the graffiti one. I don't think the other two necessarily uh, are ones that I might enjoy putting on my scooter, but they're there if you want to customize. And of course, they allow you to grip the board with your feet. Let's get to finishing the unpacking. Okay, I thought this was attached. I feel like an idiot. It was all not attached. It was just the way I took it out. And I'd heard about this from other people. I've been watching some other reviews of this unit and you get this rather nifty little hex key set. Allen wrench, hex key, Allen bolt, whatever you want to call it. But it includes, oh, it includes a little socket set as well. Basically everything you need, theoretically, to set up your Vala Eagle One. So. That's cool. The handlebars are disconnected for obvious reasons because it helps make the packaging a little bit easier. I'm kind of not wanting to cut anything. So I'm being a bit gentle and a bit timid about pulling everything off. And this is all loose. So this all needs to be kind of tightened up before you ride. You get a bell, the standard brakes, which in this one, are actually hydraulic. The early versions of the Vala Eagle one had mechanical brakes, mechanical disc brakes, but these are hydraulic disc brakes, which I believe are slightly better. These are all very wobbly, but that's fine. We'll tighten those up in a second. And the other thing to talk about here is the, the throttle. So instead of having a twist throttle, or a push with your thumb throttle. This is one that you operate with your index finger. And the, several people have said that they prefer it this way. I haven't really tried much of a scooter like this. I think I am gonna prefer this. So let's put this all together. Now, while I put it together, let's talk about price. This scooter retails from 14 
$1,499 in the US, so $1,499. And the big question that a lot of people have is, is it road legal? This is marketed as an off-road, two-wheel drive, hard-on adventure scooter. This is not necessarily one that you would buy if you wanted to commute to and from work. However, different states in the US have different rules. And so what is legal in one state is not legal in another. I can tell you right now that in the state of Oregon, this scooter would be questionable on the road because there is a limit to how powerful the motors can be. It has to have a maximum power output of one kilowatt. There is a limit to how fast the scooter can go. I believe the limit in Oregon is like 20 miles an hour. This one can technically do 40. And there's also um, kind of some, some other rules in other states about how old you have to be, etc., etc. Now, as I understand it, this has a legal mode. A, a mode that you can you can set it so that it won't go above 20 miles an hour so that it won't have a power output of more than a thousand watts and i personally think um, and this is just me don't act on any advice i say here i personally feel okay riding this on a bicycle track or a scooter track off-road on a trail which is really where it's going to have the best benefit because it's a two wheel drive system but always check your local laws i think let's leave it at that check your local laws i think if you were operating this in full bore two wheel drive two kilowatt 40 mile an hour mode and you got stopped by the police that would be your problem i will say in terms of size this is a big scooter if i compare it to like one of the lime scooters in downtown portland this is a lot larger, a lot beefier. And I think that honestly, when I'm riding it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel that weight, certainly when you start riding. But like most things, the quicker you go, the less you feel the weight. So I'm, I'm gonna be interested to see how this compares riding it in a street legal version versus dual motor performance. So my plan over the next month or so is to take this out onto some trails, COVID restrictions pending, and I'll report to you guys my findings. I'm very intrigued, and part of me thinks that we should now have legislation in the US and in other countries around the world designed to make ownership of things like this a lot easier, because I think a lot of people could very easily use this as a last mile solution either to get to work from their apartment or home or to actually do that last mile thing now i live 25 30 miles out of portland proper and i would love to park my car outside of portland ride this in when i need to and then do that last bit now i've just turned it on and it says 52 volts on the display. I'm going to pull off the little bit of plastic which sits on here. It tells me that the bike has 52.1 volts in the battery. I'm not going to turn it on so we'll talk about that in the next video but there's actually a switch to turn the battery on and then there's also a switch to turn the bike on which I haven't activated yet. So there you go that's the Vala Eagle One. I'm going to be putting it through its tests in the next couple of months and then look forward to a full review later on this year. That's it for today. As always, thanks to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month patrons. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons. That's John Lyons, Regine Fellows, Jeffrey Songster, Anonymous Freak, Paul Conway, Laura Sanborn, Anthony Coates, and Tesla in the Gong. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month Patreon supporters. That's Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, JP Fagerback, Sean Ueda, Will Graylin, and Ian. If you would like to join them and become a Patreon supporter yourself, you can do so by following one of the links below or use those links to send us a donation through Ko-fi or Bitcoin. You'll also find a link to our free Discord server, so sign up and come and join in the fun. And if you're in need of some swag, don't forget to check out our merch over at Redbubble. 
After the names are finished scrolling, you will see a suggestion for a new video to watch, so please do consider watching it if you haven't, and I'll be back very soon, as long as I don't fall off this. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving!